No problem. This is why we save. Supercharge boost. Excellent. Okay. Maybe. Oh, what do you like to do for fun? Whatever's next. My birthday is coming up in a few weeks. <laughs> this is fine. The hell? Well, that escalated quickly. Oh, is the body of the dog alerting her even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. Twin Lakes, home to the largest population of Twin Lakes natives. <laughs> we started running out of tourist attractions pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, look at these graphical upgrades. Fancy. Hell game. Oh my god, they just oh <laughs> and it's on fire. Oh it's an up uh, wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when. didn't even know that you could do this. You're carrying so much that you can hardly move. You'd better drop something soon. Hey! I have not... I have not looted that, sir! You want to play with plasma? I'll show you how to play with plasma. That's how you play with plasma. Do you mind? You're interrupting a thing here. Let's go for Circus Maximus. Ah, oh, they have a fire. I can do some cooking. 
Un oh shoot. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight. Here it comes. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. That's just fireworks. Good afternoon, folks. How's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the Library of Lore. One day I will get used to saying good afternoon instead of good evening, but today is apparently not that day. Also, I can't believe the number of false starts we had today. Holy crap, it's like I've forgotten how to stream. Uh, I probably should warn you, I am a little bit tired today. My computer woke me up at 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, which you know left me with about two or three hours of sleep, and then I didn't really sleep very well after that, if I slept at all. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit tired, but that's okay. We'll get through this. It'll be fine. How's everybody doing? It's so good to see so many people. And Stara and Greeny and Jessica, and I hope you're all doing fantastic. Uh, we're going to be playing some Jurassic World Evolution 2 for a few hours. Thanks to... Uh, I use Keymailer and... I applied for a key for the winged species pack and they were kind enough to give it to me. So I got that and we're going to be trying to kind of beeline. I really particularly want to get the Utyrannus species, but we're going to see if we can get as many of them as we can. So I might just load up my Jurassic World scenario game uh, that we had completed and we'll carry on with that one because that's got all the infrastructure and science and everything. We can probably get the feathered species really quickly. But for now, uh, where are we? This is a PC game, so I'm going to switch over here. And uh, let's get the game going. Sound a little robotic? What does that mean? Jurassic World Evolution stresses you the frack out? Uh... I actually honestly almost wonder if sounding a little robotic is a function of the fact that I am quite tired today. Robot reverb, oh my god, please don't tell me I still have frickin'. I have no idea why I would sound reverby. <laughs> I can't hear it myself. Oh, never mind. Yes, I do know why. How about if I kill that? Is that better? I guess you need me to keep talking, but that should be better. Fixed? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that was an easy fix. That was actually because of a change I had to make for recording local content. Uh, I was... Uh, I was playing around with some stuff and discovered that the streaming settings don't work for local recording, so I had to set some new stuff up for that, and that included putting a new instance of the mic thing in, so you were basically hearing my microphone twice, which is why it was a little reverby. So I had to just turn off the new one I added for the local recording sessions. So that's fun. Um, we are going to load up our campaign. Not the... Well, I guess we could do the... Dominion bias in one, but no, wait a minute. Um, campaign chaos theory. Yes, this is the one. We'll do this one. This is where our journey continues, and for many, where theirs came to an end. Oh, is hang on. New block. This time, it's not just a park, it's a world. No, no, no. This is, I think we just started a new one, which I don't really want to do. Uh, we've already done this. I want to load up and continue on from the end so that we can just continue to build it out. John Hammond had nope, his nope, vision nope. Sorry, Mr. Masrani. We need to load a game. 
We want Chaos Theory. We want on-stream Jurassic World. Yes. And we're going to see what we can do. There should be four new feathered species. There are already a few feathered species in the game because of the... Um, Jurassic World Dominion content. So you had your Pyroraptor, and you had... I think there were a couple of others. but uh, Or at least one other. But this pack adds about four of them, including the Utyrannus, which is a Tyrannosaur-style dinosaur covered with feathers, and it's going to be awesome. Okay, so what did we have here? All right, okay, I remember building a bunch of this stuff. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. Look at this. We've got a massive area right out here that we can just get set up right away. So we're going to set up a new area here. First, though, we need to go and check out some of the stuff that we've got. Ah, uh, no worries, Anstara. You do what you got to do. Um... No, we want the Expedition Center. Let's see if it's even possible. Let's see if the feathered species will appear now that I've got them. So, Moses... Oh, we only have 62% of the Mosasaur genome? Wow. There's lots of stuff out here we haven't gotten yet. Ceratosaurus, Dimorphodon, Ichthyosaurus, Plesiosaurus, Megalosaurus. What? Okay, we might have to get that. It's also possible we'll have to do our research project to unlock the new feathered species. So let's see. Sinoceratops. I don't know. Oh, this is definitely a new one. There are insectivores now. What days does Humble Choice reset? I thought it was supposed to be the first Tuesday of the month, or is it later? I thought you were right about that. But it might uh, it might be too early in the day on Tuesday. It might be a few hours from now. Let's go with this, because this is definitely very new. I've never seen an insectivore species, so we're going to do this one. We're going to go with that one. Okay, some of our guys look like they need... They need a break. So, let me see. We need eight... Oh my god, you can do it and then some, just all on your own. We're going to get the two of you. That's going to be significantly savings. So we've got twice the expertise we need there. All right, so you guys get off. Let's do a quick peek at our research. Yeah, flying reptiles. Okay, so we've already got flying reptiles one and two. So, yeah, so this is this is one of them. So we're getting our first flying reptile already. Uh, and we can do flying reptiles 2A. Pteranodon and another of the new ones. And then, okay, so very cool. We can do those. But we're going to want to look at carnivores as well. So that's Baryonyx. Where is Eutyrannus? Highly tempted to get the D&D comic bundle. Comes with Minsk and Boo. Oh, man. That is pretty tempting, is it not? Response vehicle automatic resupply. Okay, let's... Let's get our staff taken care of first. They've got a lot of work coming up. Where did we leave the staff center? Uh, oh. Okay. Staff center. Ah, okay. There we go. Ms. Way, you need a rest. You need a rest. You need a rest. 
Everybody gets a rest. Brachiosaurus, Dreadnoughtus. Oh, staff busy. Okay, so we'll have to wait till the resting is done. In the meantime, though, I'm going to set up a new facility over here. Actually, if we're doing the genome of a flying dinosaur, I don't think we have an... Yeah, we don't have an aviary. We might have to set that up back here. Luckily, it looks like we've got all the infrastructure we could hope for. got lots of space it should be good okay so let's take a look do i need to research anything fancy avi yeah we do we have to research the aviary itself okay so staff are still busy what i can do then is we're going to come back to our environment and we're going to smooth out some of the land So we can save ourselves some difficulties in construction. And I'll just smooth out these edges here. There we go. So this will be the site for the aviary. And then we can do some more enclosures over this way and on the other side over here too. So that should work out. Now, do we have anything else going on? Looks like we've got at least one dead dino. Where is this? Oh, already being transported. Okay, so that's taken care of. Okay, so we're not getting quite as much here as we would like. I may have just sabotaged it completely by making it even more expensive, but we'll have to see how it goes. It can be a loss leader. Some of the others are pretty heckin' effective. All right, now we can start doing some of this research that we need to do. We need that aviary pretty badly. Zipline? A viewing building that consists of two towers connected by a cable that guests travel along? Most suitable for advent- What the- Oh my god. Okay, hang on. That's not what I'm looking for. Although, we might need to do that. A zip line in a dino park. Incredible. Expedition is done. Let's get this. And we're gonna do- We need- Four logistics and we need nine special care, so we're going to go with you and you. Maybe not you, actually. Let's do... Ms. Ma. Oh, no, we can't do this one. Okay. That one's expensive as heck. We're just going to wait on that one. And in the meantime, 
I saved my ones that are really good at expeditions and do them much faster than that expedition we just went on. So we're going to come back over here and we're going to see if we can't work some more on this formation here and improve that genome. And while that's going on, we have to come over here and check out our fossils that we just got. And we'll let him work at that. Vehicle under threat, of course. the other T-Rex. Then we've got, uh, <laughs> right, Moses our Pharaoh. Oh. Oh no. What? Holy crap! I didn't know the compies would attack and kill the goats. That's amazing. This is Owen Grady. He's an animal behaviorist that specializes in training velociraptors. Which means that he's a little... What's the word I'm looking for? Determined? I say that with all respect, of course. <laughs> One thing better than taking care of the dinosaurs, and that's seeing new ones brought to life. Oh, and a good corn dog. Yeah, with some mustard. Okay, so two things. Aviary research complete. Excellent. Ranger team two. Ah, expedition complete. Okay. Okay, so what do we need for this one? Seven and sixteen. So we're going to need you, and we're going to need you. And theoretically, that's good. So let's start that one. And we'll get started on this one, too. Now, how are our genomes looking? Where did I put the hatchery? I've got to have a hatchery somewhere. We're going to build a new one as part of our new thing so that I can just release stuff. Ah, right. It's part of the... It's part of the... Um, the raptor pen. Okay, we might not be able to do the Utyrannus here. That's a problem. I'm, we might have to look up what areas we can use Utyrannus in, actually. Because it doesn't look like we can do it here. No, oh my god, we're on the... 
Ugh, that's annoying. Annoying. Why would it give me access to the fossils if I can't use them? Unless, I guess I could be unlocking them for use later. What we might end up having to do then is uh, we could start a sandbox game. Vehicle under threat, of course. Why would it not be under threat? And dead dinosaur. A dangerous storm is incoming. Prepare to... Okay, emergency shelters. I love the monorail. Monorail is great. Wait a minute, are we short on power? facility and capture team I don't suppose you'd like to maybe tranquilize the Indoraptor yes yes it is on star <laughs> and this guy has gotten loose I'm sure it's gonna be just peachy it's gonna be a-okay no not a problem at all Crabs in Jurassic Park, thankfully. Oh, Jesus.
and that, and that, and that. No, not to wreck control. I mean, that can be fun sometimes, but I prefer to just give the orders. I mean, I guess this probably isn't what's meant by flying species pack. No. No. Not really. Oh, no! Indominus Rex died of old age. At least he died free. And then there's this this guy getting a real close up look. Wow. <laughs> very true, Ansara, very, very true. Okay, let's see. That one those are gonna be repaired already. What else needs doing? We gotta get that fixed. Insufficient fuel? What? And that's just rude. Okay, those are already scheduled. Okay, I think most things are looking pretty good. Yep, crackhead Yoshi. And we had a, a, not only a storm, but a storm with a tornado. It was fun. And my Indominus Rex died of old age in the middle of it. After escaping, of course. Luckily, these dinosaurs seem to mostly be pretty lazy and they're not really beelining for the exit the way most of them would tend to. We are going to get this fixed at some point, aren't we? I think they're going and fixing that first. Okay, here it comes now. There we go. All fixed. And now we just wait for the rest of the little sort of incidental bits to be completed over time. And in theory, these guys should be less of a threat and I can open the park back up again.
they are going to become less of a threat, right? Oh, yeah, okay, they're starting to drop off. Good. There we go. Yeah, the annoying thing is we're actually compl we're we're done with this scenario. Like I com I finished this and moved on. We're just here. Requires transportation. Okay. Um, we're done with Jurassic World as a scenario. I just came back to it so that we could specifically try to get some of the new feathered species stuff because uh, you know. They were kind enough to provide me with a key. And I want to get a Utyrannus, but it kind of looks like I can't get the Utyrannus in this park, which is annoying. We might have to do it in science, uh, or uh, sandbox mode, rather. But I can at least unlock a whole bunch of stuff through the expeditions in this map, so that'll be fine. Oh, uh, we've got Plesiosaur there, too. Dimorphodon. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to focus for now on getting all of the research done to unlock the species, and then we'll see what they unlock in the... Yeah, that looks like another new one. Uh, we'll see what they unlock in the archaeological sites. Got to do it in challenge or sad box? Yeah. That's okay. Uh, oh, what do we need? We need more science. We need more brains. Okay, we'll get both of those unlocked. And in the meantime, I believe we can start construction on the aviary. So we're going to come along and I think... That'll probably do. Vikings, how you doing? It's excellent to see you. Good morning. <laughs> I forgot all about that. How are you doing, Vikings? It's been a couple of weeks since I was actually able to hear my own alerts. That's what we want, a repeater power station. So we're going to put that in there. And now we need a path connection. Oh, uh, I don't need the massive path. Hang on. We want attractions. Viewing platform, lagoon, gyro, Jurassic tour. Ah, we need to research that. That's fine. We can do that. Oh, operation. Oh, okay. So we do need the hatchery to be operational. So never mind. We want that path connection after all. We'll do one of these guys. Yeah, well, uh, as best as I was able to tell while I was offline, CD, I can hear the alerts. Got to lurk for a sec, work meeting, and then you'll be back. Oh, you know what? No, actually, 
I didn't hear your alert, Vikings, now that I think about it. I did not hear your alert. I heard the TTS, which means that I was aware the alert happened, but uh, yeah. I'll have to, I'll look at that over my break. I'm not going to worry about that in the middle of stream. But yeah, um, I did not actually hear the alert itself now that you mention it, CD. Thank you, CD, for the, or thank you, Aaron Lord, for the shout out. How you doing, Aaron Lord? It's good to see you. So at least I can hear the TTS. That's that's a step in the right direction, at least. Oh, another dead dino. What do we got here? Collecting assets. Velociraptor. Research available. Okay, so let's get that one done. Our two logistics specialists can take that on. Remote viewing galleries. Viewing galleries that can be placed inside of enclosures providing a close-up view of dinosaurs must be powered and connected to the path network via a viewing entrance. Most suitable for nature and adventure guests. I love that. Let's see if we can do that one as well. Okay, it looks like I need another hospital unit, a paleo medical faci <coughs> facility. That's okay, we can do that. I will put this over here, I think. I think we're going to upgrade this main path here because I expect the aviary to be a fairly major attraction. There we go. Oh my god, that's actually really cute. That's pretty cute. Let's modify their genome. Because obviously we have to. Uh, so we are going to add randomized skin and pattern colors. And can we do something about the short lived thing? Yes, we can. And we're going to bump up the chances of being tolerant. Oh, I heard that alert. What the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Just got back from my vacation, so it will be good to get back into things. I've missed being around. It's good to have you back again. Humility. We want to bump that up, too. All modifications applied. Okay. There we go. Oh, crap. More dead dinos. Oh, two of our Miyungasaurus. Okay, that's not so great. I 
planted. Now is the weeding, watering, and cleaning up of the dead stuff from last year. Raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, grapes, and strawberries. That sounds delicious. Especially the strawberries. Always my favorite of the berries. Oh god, another one? Okay, what just kicked the bucket? Stop showing me the one on the frickin' helicopter. That doesn't do me any good. Okay, we got a crop of five. No traits manifested. Tolerant and humble. Social and docile. Social and tolerant. Social, tolerant, and humble. Okay, we're gonna do these four. And Mr. Son over there looks like he's in desperate need of a break. Had a long conversation with my father the other day about them. My granddad, his dad, had the same raspberry, blackberry, grapevines for 20 years. Damn. I have red, purple, and black raspberries, and I'm waiting to have my yellow raspberry bush to arrive at some point. Supposed to have shipped in March. Also, two roses. Plan to try those out for rose water and rose hips. Very nice. That sounds pretty awesome. Oh, look at this. Gotta love it. Good job, sir. Way to put on a show. Nope. Transport. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, no. Crap. Okay, how many raptors do we have left? We really don't want their population getting too low. Although, at one point, I seem to remember I had too many raptors. But we've lost two in the last little bit. Well, I need to check and make sure, because they get really nasty when they start getting... Under socialized. Okay, we've got four left. We've got four left. We're good for a little while, but as soon as we lose one more, I'm going to have to create some additional population for those guys. How are we doing here? Oh, almost done. I love the way these guys look. They look so awesome. Uh, so cool. Okay, so they're expanding their territory, but they need food. This is the first time I've released an insectivore. Uh, we want environment. Feeder, where, what? How do we... They need insects, they need sand, they need water. Okay, so let's edit the environment. Well, 
We'll do water first. Do I have to research their feeding needs? Probably. Okay, so they seem to be pretty good now, except for that insect requirement. I'm going to leave the game paused for now. This might be a thing we have to research. No. Ah, yes, insectivore feeder, okay. Oof, okay. Um, I hope they're not too, too hungry because we've got some staffing issues to sort out. You need a rest, and you need a rest. Dead copy. Okay, yeah, we have to wait. That's all right. Renamar, what the heck? Okay, the follow alerts are working. Why are the... Sub found the morning. <laughs> Why the heck are the sub alerts not working? Are you guys hearing the sub alerts and it's just me or what's going on? Thank you so much for 70 months. That's insane. Thank you so much for all of the support. That's incredible. Okay, that frees up some research scientists. Let's see if we can do our thing now. Yeah, uh, what you heard was Morgan Freeman doing the TTS, not the alert itself, which is weird. I didn't even see the alert, let alone hear it, so I've got to... Yeah, you know, we've got ads coming up in about eight minutes or so. When that happens, I've got a couple things to poke at, I think. Uh, okay, that will do. Mr. Anya Dank will be able to handle the insectivore feeder, and it looks like Ms. Harada and Mr. Brains could use a break. So we'll get them to rest. And actually, oh, they're... Nope, you're okay. I'm going to let you rest, and you can rest too, just to cut off the looming rest apocalypse. Okay, it looks like the feeder's almost done, so we'll be able to get our guys nice and satisfied with their hunger. And in the meantime, it looks like I didn't go heavy enough on the sand, so let's do a little bit more of that. I mean, for aesthetic purposes. As far as dino comfort goes, they're fine, but I just like it to look better. Okay. Now we can do the insect feeder. And we're going to have our viewing gallery. We'll probably have more than one, but let's put a viewing thing, a feeding thing there. And I think we can build 
Yeah, AVR reviewing gallery. So we're going to do that. Of course it's obstructed. Why would it not be obstructed? Can I move this? There we go. Nope, this is not modded, Big Boss. Welcome on in. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Had our morning stand-up meeting. No worries. It's good to have you here, Vikings. Hope you're doing well. There are no mods whatsoever in this game. It's all... It's all uh, official content. I am using the feathered species pack, which I believe added the insectivore species, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I also added another DLC as well. I was provided a key for the feathered species pack, but the other one that I added, which I actually don't even remember the name of it, uh, I bought that one. I bought all the content for this game except for the feathered species. But uh, no, I've, I've never modded this game. Doing well, have to go into the office tomorrow, so you're prepping for that. Ugh. Well, I hope it goes well. There you go. So cool. Oh, crap. Why are all the dinosaurs dying all the time? Okay. Okay, so that's one of our new species we've got. Let's get back to doing some of this research so that we can get more. Uh, oh, looks like we are done with the flying reptiles. Oh my god, they named one after Attenborough. That's awesome. I think we need to research this one. So what do we need? Three logistics and 12 science? And then we also had carnivore stuff. Nope, we finished that too. How about small herbivores? Two and nine. No, okay, we'll have to wait on that one. Okay, well, in the meantime, we have been losing a steady number of dinosaurs. Let me just take a quick look at our population. We have one Allosaurus, three Ankylosaurus. I ooh, might have to consider making more of those. We've got the one Apatosaur, three Carnotaurus, two Myungasaurus. How much... Minimum population is one on them, so we're okay. Might need some more copies, because these guys are divided into two different pens. Let me just pause this. I need to take a look at them. There's no way all the copies are okay. These guys are content over here. 
But there should be copies over here too, I believe. Might have to make another Indominus Rex. I'm... Maybe I don't have any copies in here. Weird. Okay. Well, anyway, we will worry about that in a little bit. It looks like our ads are about to start, so I'm going to take a quick break. I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes, thereabouts. I'm going to poke at the alerts, see if I can get the sub alerts working again. And uh, in the meantime, if you guys are having to watch ads, you will not miss anything because the ads are about to start and I will be running clips while they're on. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. I'll try for the Hanging Gardens. I don't think I'm going to get it, but we'll try it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! I can't believe I killed it. Supercharge boost. Excellent. Okay. Maybe. Oh, what do you like to do for fun? Whatever's next. That's what's fun. Sorry, guard. I hope 
they're not hostile now. Ah, uh, crap. Come on, get up, get up! We have a man down here. Keep a lookout. I'll check this way. Holy crap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stop everything. They've all gone. <laughs> oh. Damn it. <laughs> Hey guys, yeah, yeah, drop, yeah, the anchor. drop the anchor. I'm not. I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor. No. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did, no. did somebody drop the anchor finally? Or? Drop <laughs> the freaking anchor. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I, sorry for uh, that. Now oh, that so we're gonna clip of that one. Uh, okay, so okay, there we go. <laughs> I am back. Sorry about that, guys. Well, like I said in chat, one day I will get everything working. I want to test something here. Nope. Okay. I I can't see any possible reason why these sub alerts should not be working. But apparently they're just not going to work. And it's weird because the follow alerts are working. And they're set up identically. So, not a clue. I'm going to have to poke at that over the next couple of days. Your sub-alert worked earlier. Yeah, it's the TTS is working fine for them, Space Vikings. The alert itself is not. It should be similar to the follow alert, and it's just not functioning. Thank you very much, Greeny. Thank you, Vikings. One day I will learn and simplify my setup, but today is not that day. Sounds good, Vikings. Uh, Alright, what were we doing? We're waiting on research by the looks of it. Let's see about that Indominus. Oh, we can't. But we might be able to tweak the genome. Actually, you know, we can make Indominus 100% intolerant. That's fine. We've got him resilient. Let's make him very strong, because how could that possibly go wrong? There we go. Okay, Pachycephalosaurids number two one item unlocked and we unlock some more research which is excellent and this is about to finish as well that oh 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 here we go another hunt marine reptiles three
One thing I'm not thrilled about the return of coming back from vacation, the return of paying bills. Yes, tell me about it. So trying to decide what game I should post screenshots of first. Think you're going to try to screenshot Insta thing on Tuesdays. Why only one day a week, Greeny? Out of curiosity. Another one? Are you serious? I guess I didn't really give him a chance to actually eat the last one. Asset in transit. Potentially morbid if I dedicate a certain day, you're more likely to keep to it. That's a very good reason, honestly. <laughs> Oh, I think I... Yeah, okay. Um, it's operational. No, okay. This guy's just on our rampage. What the heck? We went so long between Tyrannosaur murder sprees with any of these guys. They were just living happily. And now all of a sudden this guy's just like, murder, 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 murder. Oh, the Triceratops are at it now. Oh, finally he decides to actually eat one of them. Bob, how's it going? Okay, it looks like he's done. Asset collection request received. Okay, so how are things looking over here? Now, I didn't really look too closely at these guys. Let's take a look at their stats a little bit more. Nope. Hey, don't back me off. I want a close-up view. First of all, they look adorable. I love the way they look. That's really cool. Their environment is perfect. Their population is bare minimum, though. Well, I'm, I might make some more of these guys. Uh, no ailments detected. They've got some pretty good traits going. They don't have shared species. They don't like any other species, but the only ones they dislike in particular are Dr. Wu hybrids. Expected lifespan 58. There are only two, so we should be good there. Okay. Let's get some more. Did I tell you about the bombshell dad dropped on me while I was on vacation? You did not. What happened? Okay. That's that. We only got four eggs this time. Tolerant. 
Humble. Tolerant and humble. We'll do those ones. Okay, and while she's going and working on that, looks like we've got another scientist who could use a bit of a break. Back off. Now, profitability, we could be making more money here. How are the amenities looking? How's coverage? Park rating is pretty good. We are profitable, although not as much as I would love. Appeal is good. Actually, we're not doing too bad. Accommodation ratings are good. Shelter coverage is so good. Transport rating could be a little better. Yeah, I think we're okay. I won't worry too much about that. Oh. What the heck? Let's ditch the fish tank. We don't seem to need that. I don't think we need that either. We're going to do smart plushies and... A skeleton display. We'll see if we can boost that into better profitability. Holy crap, the bookstore is 65,000 profit per minute? Man, if only. I want to be writing those books. So my dad calls with my stepmother, both of them on speaker, and they inform me they're getting dead social security set up in the process. They find out I've been on the wrong type of social security for your whole life. What I have is based on my own work history. When I was born with cerebral palsy, it's supposed to be based off your dad's work history. This means I could potentially receive 35 years of missed social security money. Damn, CD. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for you on that one. Sounds like bookstores back in the 90s, I know, right? And let's see. Okay. Ginger beer, seventy seven thousand profit. Holy crap. Income per minute. Okay, so we've improved our profitability quite a bit. I think I would like... Oh. Oh no! Rexy! 
damn it, Rexy. Something that came to mind recently, I got my first modem-enabled computer around this time in 1993, which included the first time connected to BBSs, including Red Wizard's Castle. So it's been that long since I first ran into you online a certain number of years ago. That's frankly scary. <laughs> That's very scary, but also pretty awesome. I would love... No, can I? No. Shoot. Okay. I forgot how massive the hatcheries actually are. Yeah, I don't think that's happening at all. Okay. <laughs> wow, Aaron Thor. Welcome back, space. We need another Tyrannosaurus. Do we have any more stuff we can do to their genome by chance? No, all modifications applied. Okay. forgot how much I don't think I've ever had matcha I was only extremely recently out of high school at that point greeny so you're pretty close to me you were practically speechless I don't blame you CD I do not blame you Okay, let's... We haven't actually checked the expeditions in a little bit. Ulara Titan, Sinoceratops. We haven't really done much over in Britain. That was, you're about to go to university, computer, so I was finishing high school at the time myself. <laughs> Asset being transported. Yesterday in Fallout, you had practically 12 times your carry weight of 460. Now, you don't mean that you were carrying 460, do you? Because that's child's play. That's more like it, Bob. That's more like it. 6,000 is respectable. Connecting onto Ethernet for the first time ever when I got to the dorms was astounding to you. Nice. Oh, we're still synthesizing a new T-Rex.
Oh. I did not realize that I still had garbage fences here. Wow. Let's maybe do a little bit of fence upgrading. You know, before we put a new T-Rex in. Is it, Renamar? That's a very good tip, then, if anybody's feeling like uh, picking this up. It sounds like Steam has a pretty good deal going. There we go. Okay. I generally feel a lot better about that now. April choice is up now. Yeah, I kind of thought that would be the case, Greeny. I wasn't certain, but I I would have put my faith on it being pretty close to 2 p.m. that it was going to go up. Death Stranding, Director's Cut, Aliens, Fireteam, Elite, Roller Dome, or Drome. Life is Strange 2, The Life and Suffering of Sir Bronte, Monster Prom 2, Revita, and Founder's Fortune. Death Stranding is a heck of a get. Oh, you had to wander close, and at least they're not wandering out. Get out of here. It drives me crazy when they stop construction because dinosaurs wander too close. That's when you really want to continue. Thank you. There we go. I believe that's... Oh, nope. <laughs> wow. This will be the entire enclosure. There we go. Okay. All right. There we are. I've never heard of Sir Bronte. What's that one all about? Ichthyosaurus. At, oh, Attenboroughsaurus looks... Wow. We need one of those. Okay. Uh, oh, I think I just assigned one of my good expedition scientists, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I did. That's okay. So this will be, it'll take longer, but that's all right. We'll make do. Ready for incubation. Okay, so we've got a humble, and we've got a strong and humble. We're going to do this one. Just the one is fine.
The life and suffering of Sir Bronte is a narrative-driven RPG. Okay, I already like it. That comes to life in the pages of the protagonist's journal. Definitely like it. Set in a ruthless world where any form of dissent is mercilessly crushed, the story follows a man who has dared to challenge the existing order. Set out on a lifelong journey and become an individual able to carve out their own destiny, but remember that freedom never comes cheap. Definitely worthy of a closer look, I think. That sounds pretty awesome. Now, I should probably also try upgrading some stuff in here because these are also very dangerous dinosaurs in woefully inadequate containment but I'll oh my gosh my money I had like 18 million at one point <laughs> ivories what the heck thank you so Whoa. much for 50 months I apologize uh, the sub alerts for whatever reason they seem to be broken today and I can't see why, but uh, the at least the uh, at least the um, the text to speech for them works. How are you doing, Ivories? It's really good to see you. I hope all is well. Looks like the interface is pretty much you interacting with the protagonist's journal. Interesting. Okay, so the ichthyosaurus is now viable. That's pretty cool. No, it's really the Attenboroughsaurus that I want. Does anyone need a break? I don't know. Oh, during task. Okay. Brains, you can take a break. Ah, excellent. What's happened since we last talked? I now work at Florida Atlantic University, making about double what I was before. Now you work in DevOps. That's awesome. Congratulations. So I need a break. I won't turn down a second vacation. I don't blame you, CD. Maybe if this whole social security thing goes through, uh, you might not have to worry about being able to afford it. Okay, let's check out our expedition map again. Faster and cheaper expedition. Sounds good. Oh, I just realized the expeditions are a big part of where my money's going. Some of these are actually quite expensive. Uh, oh, crap. There we go. Okay. That's another Velociraptor down. That means I have to... Acknowledging asset collection request. I have to get another one going. Raptors. We only have three. They like a minimum population of two. We could leave it a little longer, but I don't like letting them get close to the edge. Do we have anything more we can do genetically with them? No, okay. Mm. 
least they're relatively cheap. Relying on ChatGPT a surprising amount? I really like ChatGPT, honestly. I know, technically speaking, it's kind of a threat to my writing career, but I actually find it incredibly useful for my writing career. I, I don't find it to be an especially impressive writer, but it's a hell of an incredible outliner, and I am not an incredible outliner. So I use it quite a bit for that. Okay, I think they're all humble. But we can't actually do that yet. We probably need to wait for T-Rex to be done. It's a great research aggregator? Yeah, that too. I mean, I actually... It, it's, it's become very clear to me why Google raised a red alert at ChatGPT because my first choice for going, and like if I'm searching for products, I will go to Google or directly to Amazon. But if I'm looking for information, I find more and more, I just go straight to ChatGPT and get a quick summary. And especially because I'm the kind of person that I, I kind of bemoan the rise of YouTube for tutorials because there are a lot of things that video tutorials are great for, but there are a whole hell of a lot of other things that video tutorials are terrible for. And unless it really suits the video format, I really dislike video tutorials because it takes so long to go through them and get the info that you specifically need. So whenever I need a tutorial for just about anything, I go straight to Jet chat GPT and say, hey, how do I do this? And it just gives me a beautiful, concise, bullet-pointed list of what I need to do step-by-step, step, and it's awesome. It's amazing. Okay. I hate releasing these guys by airlift, but we have to. Otherwise, it's going to eat all of my velociraptors. I've heard that from other people that it actually helps the author write books rather than writing it for them. Yeah, it's not... I don't know about ChatGPT4, but 3, you don't want that doing your writing for you. Maybe if you're writing like a, a letter or something like that, but not a book. It's no good for that. It's an amazing assistant, though. It's freaking incredible as an assistant. Actually, you know, I don't know that I want all six of these because then we're just going to be back in overpopulation territory again. So let's maybe get rid of you. We'll do those three. And if you don't understand the steps, it will simplify it for you. Yes, exactly. I've also been considering using it like um, as a programming assistant to write some custom tools for my OBS stuff. Or for my uh, my layout stuff, my overlay stuff. Because a lot of that stuff is web-based with JavaScript. And it's pretty darn good at that stuff, too. So my coding skills exist, but they're not especially good. It's quite a bit better than I am for that. Alright, guys, let's release the Velociraptors.
There we go. You use it to help with bash scripts and Docker files. I don't even know what Docker files is, but that's awesome. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so let's see about... Yep, Attenborough-Saurus. They help build application containers. Got it. Okay. So that should put us well above the 50% line for Attenborough Saurus. My aunt that I've lived with a long time has helped me my whole life. She's basically been a mother, paid for me completely before I got my social security. If things work out right, want to give her a trip somewhere as a thank you. That is really amazing, CD. New viable genome. Beautiful. Okay. Where's our lagoon hatchery? No disliked species. Oh, Mosasaurus dislikes large marine species, but they like small marine species. I suspect this guy is not a small one, but I, I guess I don't actually know that for sure. Area need low, area need growth plus 50%. It doesn't really tell you the size, does it? All modifications applied. Okay. We're not going to actually create any of these yet. Sketchy, it's going good. How are you doing? Oh, another dino passed away. Oh, no. No. Oh, it's Meungasaurus. I thought it was another T Rex. Speaking of T-Rex, we never actually looked at our new one. On route to pick up the asset. Where is the new one? There you are. Oh, he's got some nice patterning going on. Very cool. Okay. I'm glad to hear that, Sketchy. It's good to see you, too. All right, let me see here. Let's take a look at fossils. We have blue. Okay. Extraction's just about done. 
Let's see what this does for our genome. Okay, so that's finished. Eighty seven percent, not bad, not bad. fix some weaknesses there. Don't want to get my hope, hopes up about things, but being able to thank her in that way would be really amazing and she deserves it. Yeah, I will keep my fingers crossed. That sounds like a really noble thing to aspire to. Oh, no, I don't want gene modification. Actually, let's let's wait. I want to get the genomes up to 100% before I start releasing more of those guys. And it looks like that should just about finish it off. That sounds delicious, Sketchy. I'm going to have to make tea during one of my next breaks, either this upcoming one in about 14-ish minutes or so, or the one after. And uh, because I'm kind of tired today, I might need a little extra food, too. I ate a small breakfast, but I could use a bit more. All right. Oh, is the extraction complete? One hundred percent ichthyosaurus. That means we can probably do some more tweaking. Increase their lifespan. Sentinel, welcome back. How's it going? Okay. Cheaper synthesis. Well, they're pretty inexpensive and fairly fast, which gives me some hope that maybe these guys are on the smaller side. I'm a little confused about the new schedule. What days do you stream again? I stream three days a week on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Asset requiring collection. No, it is official. Waiting for drone? That's so cool. What the heck? I love it. Batch size 8. Wow. Expedition complete. We'll look at that after we get done with these guys because synthesis is just about to wrap up here. Okay, so we only got four. This guy's aggressive. We don't really want that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're going to do both of those.
we've got this massive tank full of water and only one dino living in it or one marine reptile rather what 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 Speaking of, where... Oh, there it is. Large appetite... Oh, crap. <laughs> Large appetite and aggressive. Dislikes and threatens other species. This is gonna go great. This is gonna be good. He's getting towards the end of his lifetime, though. We can try to finish off the um, the genome for that guy and replace him. Heading to collect the asset. He is CD. He's very cool. Attenboroughsaurus, new complete genome. What the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. See, that's very similar to what the sub-alerts are supposed to be like, and I can't see any configuration problem with the sub-alerts, so I don't know why they're not working. It's very weird. I'll have to figure that one out off-stream, I think. Research required heart and lung muscle strength. Release two dinosaurs with the unfit trait. Crap. Okay. Wow, Greeny. Wow. Okay, it looks like we've got some scientists that need a rest. Quite a few, actually. We're going to need another T-Rex at some point, too, because we lost our second. I think that's like the sixth T-Rex we've gone through in this playthrough. We still haven't even gotten around to replacing Indominus yet. <laughs> We're really not that far apart in age, so you're kind of ragging on yourself, too. Yeah, that that's kind of what happens as time goes on. For some reason, you just keep getting older. It's a little weird. Forgot to say hi when you got here. Nabi, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? Thank you, Greeny, for the shout out. I appreciate that. Has Gord figured out how to take the long lifespan from them and I just don't know it? On the upside, if that's even close to true. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, CD. I think certain people like Aaron Lore enjoy exaggerating my age to a very great extent. So don't believe anything that Erinlar has told you. I'm pretty sure he convinced some people that I'm 60. I assure you I'm nowhere near that yet. The day will come, but not anytime soon. Oh, I forgot about these guys.
I love these little guys. They're so awesome looking. Occasionally, Ivories. Occasionally. You do it too, just not as much as Aaron Lore. Yeah. And now we've got the Ichthyosaurus. Oh, so cool. Missing fish? Lonely? What do you mean lonely? What's your minimum population? Okay, they do look pretty small, actually. I don't think the other guy will have too much of a problem with them. Hopefully. Ooh, okay, yeah, they need more population. We're going to have to do some more of those. And it looks like we need some more feeders as well. There we go. Now let's keep an eye on this guy. We'll keep an eye on him in just a moment. We need to clear this out. I am going to have to make another group of compies pretty soon. Uh, not quite nine years yet, CD. It's more like eight and a half at this point, but we're getting there. It will be nine in October. We are definitely going on nine. Okay, so where are the ichthyosaurs? Okay, so they're over this way. I kind of want to see what happens when this guy runs into them. Because this guy's aggressive. He's going to get threatening with them, I'm sure. Oh, here we go. Okay, so there's one of them. Oh, no. Wait. What? Did I have three T-Rexes and not realize it? That's bizarre. Vera Johnson, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? And a minute and a half warning on ads, guys, which means I'm going to take a break very, very shortly. This guy actually seems pretty okay. He's not reacting too badly to these interlopers in his waters. Let's get started on synthesis of some new ichthyosaurs. And I will take my break. And I will be back shortly. I think I will go grab a little bit to eat and make my tea. So this will probably be, instead of three and a half to five minutes, give it closer to, you know, five to eight minutes or so. And then I'll be right back. But I, I'm still kind of tempted to play them. Okay.
Yes. <laughs> Journal entry added. Experience points received 200. Check this way. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stop everything. They've all gone. <laughs> oh. What? Damn it. <laughs> what? What is that? Oh my god. Oh crap. Oh crap! I forgot! <laughs> Whoops. Uh. This is the end. Oh! Suspect reported in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Wow! Received, mobilizing now. Out. That was brutal! Holy crap! I never really seem to have the time. I'm good. Can't hide from me. There is someone up there. Gallons of welcome to Fizis. Oh my god. Oh, let me guess what that's going to be. Oh. Hey, I was wrong. Okay, he was definitely no behemoth. Can't be the original entry room, can it? That's what I was just thinking, Greeny. This looks completely different. The lighting is so different. This is that trap room, isn't it? Where the gas comes out and everything's really dangerous. Traps. How considerate. Oh my god. The lighting makes such a huge difference. Holy crap, it looks so different. <laughs> what in the world?
this is why you got to be very careful tossing pebbles into wells. You might accidentally create a volcano. <laughs> Damn. Um. Um. Whoops. Oh no. What was that? <laughs> oh, she's not dead. Interesting. Got about you. Get out of my face. My god, it's still only 48. Thank you. Gotcha! Thousand-year flood. The river bursts its banks and rising water covers the land for miles around. Not for a thousand years has the river flooded to such an extent. More like someone. <laughs> You're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. You have to forgive Erend. He's discovered the far future version of Spotify. <laughs> Prey feeder unlocked. Good job, everyone. That ought to keep the Imperials off our back for a little while longer. You have no leader. It seems I misjudged you. Can you forgive me? Hey, I just painted this thing. Of course, Red Leader. For you see, it doesn't matter about the color of our squadron. What's important is we're all the same on the. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Save it for your mental acceptance speech, kid. Oh my god, the timing. Oh my god. They have my tartan. That's amazing. Hey, mad. Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan MacLeod. From the Rakata, the new are a spy and must be killed. Do spies normally announce themselves? Oh, this is fun. Okay. It might seem strange, but it'll keep her safe from time fall and chiral contamination while allowing her to breathe. Excuse me. Supercharge boost. Excellent. Okay. Maybe. Oh, what do you like to do for fun? Whatever's next, that's what's fun.
Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. <laughs> I'm really glad they put that in there. <laughs> Bobby, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Oh, there's more than one of them. <laughs> I think he, one of them just took a flying leap off that tower. <laughs> That's just evil. Ten four. I spoke too soon. <laughs> You're kidding me. They stuck around? Who? Oh my god, the entire freaking swarm stuck around and camped. Literally camped inside the train. Oh god. Uh. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I had a little bit of a tea incident where I spilled hot water over part of my desk. Luckily, not on anything important or damageable. But... Well, I guess technically my fingers are important and damageable. Uh, okay, so... So we are synthesizing more ichthyosaurs. Oh, we're getting more money again, too. That's good. That is very good. Let's do another expedition. Okay. Jurassic Coast B in the UK is complete. Plesiosaurus. Let's do that one. That's a mixture of aquatic and land-based carnivorous dinos, which is pretty nice. What happened to our cheaper expedition specialist? I must have assigned her. But she can do that alone. That's okay. That'll be expensive. But at least it'll be fast. Dinosaur appeal 2851. 2,500. Zero. Oh, crap. Okay, so we, we definitely need more inhabitants over here. Uh, another dead dino. Is that another copy? What do we got here? Yeah, okay. I think we're going to have to do more copies. No worries, Vikings. No worries. No need to apologize. Life always comes first. Sorry, buddy. Mr. Brains, you need to take this one and run with it. We need some synthesis done on copies. Mm -hmm. 
There's Pharaoh. Yeah, these guys are lonely. How are we doing with them? Oh, they're good. Okay. A lot of these ones are long-lived. That is amazing. So that'll be five more. That should give us a total of eight, and we should be pretty good for the Ichthyosaurus. Then we can turn our attention to the Attenboroughsaurus. Ah, good. Copies are done. That means Mr. Brains needs a rest. He's probably not the only one. Uh, actually, everybody else looks okay. I don't think we've had any people eaten today. We did have an incident very, very early in stream, almost as soon as I started stream, where a storm hit that included a tornado that tore through this whole area down here. But I had been given enough advanced warning that everybody pretty much was in shelters. So our Indominus Rex got out and actually died of old age before I managed to recapture him. But uh, I don't think he managed to eat anybody. Metroid Canthiosaurus. Okay, so this is going to be a good one. Oh, it's all Metroid Canthiosaurus. I must already have the other dinosaur that's in the thing. <laughs> it was already pretty much at the end of its lifespan. <laughs> hey, Darkwing, how's it going? Good to see you again. We probably should have one of those signs, honestly. A dinosaur has been successfully raised to maturity. Excellent. Incubation compi. Get the airlift train rolling. Asset requiring collection. En route to pick up the asset. Asset to be collected. Adding to the list. Unbelievably excited ivories. I can't wait for City Skylines 2. I I am so excited by how it looks so far. I mean, I know we haven't really seen a whole lot yet, but even so. Metria Canthosaurus, new viable genome already. That was pretty good. That was good. I like that. Okay, Anya Dyke needs a break. Now, how are we doing here? That's not the one. We want that one. Okay, so we've still got about half a minute till those are ready. Attenboroughsaurus is ready for incubation. Well... And they're going to have to keep waiting. Okay, so we'll wait till the ichthyosaurs are done. I had forgotten I already had synthesis going for Attenboroughsaurus. We're just going to have to hope that 
the Attenborosaurus is small enough not to conflict with the other guy. Or, alternatively, maybe we hope that there is some conflict there and we make the sea show a little more exciting. That could be fun, too. Either way, I think it's going to be good. All right. Ichthyosaurus. Let's get them out there. This is a big release. I think there's like five of them. Look at that. It's beautiful. Perfect. Oh, geez. Another of the v Velociraptors. That's okay. That's why I did another batch of those earlier. Mosasaur, still content. No traits, no traits, no traits, no traits. But we've got some good variety in the colors and patterns. Now, this is an expensive batch. Two million for these guys. Yes, ED. They announced it a little while ago. Now, there is no gameplay footage available for it. They've only got a cinematic trailer. But it looks really freaking amazing. Voidum, how's it going? It's good to see you. Oh, another freaking dead dino. They're dropping like flies. It's another copy, though. This is why we're doing another batch of those. Grogu! I... well... Things are better, but we have a weird, mysterious problem where specifically sub-alerts are not working. Uh, I mean, they're kind of working, but they're not visible and they're not audible. But the text-to-speech that comes after a sub-alert does work. So your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea what's going on with that. I might just redo the entire batch of them over the next couple of days while I'm off. And we'll see what happens. It's really weird. It is always something, Grogu. It's always something. I was saying earlier in the stream, maybe one day I will have everything working, but that day is not today. Another dead dino? They're just... They die of old age, Ivories. <laughs> and besides, if PETA shows up to say anything about it, well, I always need more dinosaur food. We're getting there. Let's speed this up a little bit while those are incubating. <clears throat> Whoa, what? Oh, somebody must have eaten a shark. That's awesome. All right, guys, ready for it? At Burrosaurus. Well, let's find out what happens. Minimum population is three. We've got five hatching. We should be good.
Okay, that's awesome. Injured surface wounds. Okay, that so that looks like the med teams will automatically take care of that. That should be okay. Their jeep was destroyed, Ivories. The T Rex mushed them up. But miraculously nobody was injured or killed. I think you got him, guys. Or maybe not. Okay, they got him. Okay, how's everybody doing here? These guys are still... Oh, Attenborosaurus, they're content. Excellent. So they found the fish. Wow, it's very dark. The shadow of the mountains is deep. Attenborosaurus, Ichthyosaurus are content. Where's the big guy? Wow, suddenly this is very populated. Missing shark. You've got lots of sharks. What are you worried about? No ailments. There's a shark right there. Just swim a little further and you'll get it. Asset has been transported. Yeah, he's fine. He just doesn't know it yet. <clears throat> Whoa. Why do I always miss it? Weird. Three thousand two hundred twenty-four appeal. Ooh, our appeal on the water stuff has gotten so much better. Having more of the creatures around—that's awesome. No worries, Ivories. Now, are you going to eat them? How are you doing with your stats, anyway? Okay, so that's actually his first kill. Oh, 
Oh, yep, he's eating. Okay. Welcome on in, Paleo. That is a very appropriate name for this stream. Unfortunately, the whole idea of this stream was I was going to focus on the feathered dino species. I, I'm not actually sure. Maybe, maybe, hang on. I, I'm actually, I'm going to Google this. I need to get, I want to really get the Utyrannus is what I really want to get. Flying species pack. They were kind enough to give me the key to this thing. Or feathered species, not flying species. I want to get the Utyrannus at a minimum. Oh, we already have one of the species, though. Jaholoopterus, which I, I apologize, my pronunciation there was brutal. Utyrannus, one of the largest known feathered carnivores with its striking nasal crest and sunny coat, is likely to make a thrilling addition to your park. If you can figure out how to use it, where do you even get it? Um, yeah, unfortunately, sources I'm using here, I'm on a wiki, it doesn't actually tell me. Maybe if I look on Steam, hang on. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't actually tell you where you can access them. Yes, the Utyrannus. Exactly, Paleo. Your name should give the job away. That is pretty awesome. Gonna lurk for a bit, grab a bite to eat, depending on workload. Might not be able to chat much, so have a good stream if you get slammed. No worries, Vikings. Do what you gotta do. I appreciate the lurk. Okay. Um, right now we're in challenge mode in a completed session of Jurassic World. I'm kind of wondering if maybe we need to do this in a sandbox or something. Except that we did get one of the species. We got the flying species, the feathered flying species. We have a bunch of these guys in here, if I can find them. How are they doing? Here's one of them. They're very small. Uh, okay, so they're actually doing pretty good. They're content. Conditions are perfect. So we're doing all right with these guys. But this is the only one that I've actually found. They're adorable. I love these guys. They look like prehistoric bats or something. So they're pretty heckin' awesome. But I want the Utyrannus. <clears throat> but you got... Well, it, yeah, but even so. Even so. It's not, you know, just having the biggest. I mean... Our heckin' Indominus Rex died of old age. And I've lost two Tyrannosaurs today to old age as well. And created a new one to replace it, who keeps having to be tranked. But I just, you know, we've got this new content. I want to get the U Tyrannus. Let's see if maybe there's some research that I'm missing. Carnivores. Looks like we've got everything unlocked, in theory, at least. Mm. 
Mosasaur. I did want to finish that one too. Pteranodon. Okay, so we do have some sites that I haven't finished up here with yet. Gigantosaurus. Or, sorry, not Gigantosaurus. Gigantotosaurus. <laughs> I still trip over a lot of the names. I apologize. Might as well get as many of the sites as I can. Oh, this is right, not expedition, research. There we go. Were there any others? Nope. I wonder if I have any training available for anybody. Oh, wait a minute. Training up to level five. Expensive, but worth it. Okay. <clears throat> Tuesdays do be, be... Yeah, that that's one of the reasons I wanted to stream on Tuesday, actually, uh, Grogu. I've talked about this a little bit before since doing the schedule change, but I specifically wanted to stream on Tuesdays and on Fridays because those two days are the most common release days for new games. And... Before, when I was doing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, it was always very frustrating because so many games release on Tuesday, and then I was off on Tuesday and Wednesday, so I would miss the kind of excitement of the new release. You know, sometimes I would catch a Friday game, but that was about it. <clears throat> so this way, I get the possibility of the Tuesday releases and the Friday releases, and I get a bit on the weekend as well for people who can't be here during a work day. So it's kind of trying to cover as many of my bases as I can while doing the three day a week thing. And I gotta say, so far, I'm really liking the new schedule. It's, it's really working well for me as far as stress management goes. I feel so much better. Not him. We want... Come on. There we go. That guy. The dead one. Thank you. Sauropod research complete. Sauropod 3 research available. Let's see what that looks like. <clears throat> Ornithomimosaurids. Okay, I'm just going to have to, I think, straight up Google it. Feathered species pack, how do you get Eutyranus? Asset has been collected.
Okay, lots of search results. Problem is, most of them are videos. I don't want videos, thank you. <sighs> I want to stream more modern releases. I want to stream everything. I mean, I think... Some of the more retro type stuff, they may go straight to YouTube just because I don't have as many days per week. I'm already starting to feel that. Like, we're going to switch at some point during this stream from Jurassic World Evolution 2 to doing a bit of Breath of the Wild because Tears of the Kingdom is coming up real soon. Plus, we've got Jedi Survivor coming out before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. And I'm still a long way from finishing Breath of the Wild, let's be honest. So I've got a lot to do in that game, and I'm running out of time to do it, especially with having cut my stream hours per week. So I need to get some time in on that. And then we'll be playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom again on Friday as well. But I've also lost out on streaming that on Saturday because I've gotten a key for another game. I don't know how many of you guys were here for it, but uh, the other week I streamed a game called Spaceborn which is a Turkish sci-fi game in the vein of the classic sort of, uh, you know, the Wing Commander Privateer and such from the early 90s. And it was a beautiful game. It was absolutely fantastic. But the second game is in early access and it looks even better. And I was given a key for the second game. So I'm going to stream that on Saturday. Will you ever finish games from now going forward? Absolutely. I will definitely finish games from now going forward. The question is, will I finish games on stream or will I do it straight to YouTube? Because <laughs> I've got a fair amount of time off that I can do stuff in, but uh, we'll see how it works out. Needs refueling. And in fairness, I will do my best to try and finish the games on stream. Um, oh, okay. Oh, that's another Miyungasaurus. What's our population at there? That We've lost a few of those today. That was it? We're out of them? Oh god, okay. We need more of these guys. Looks like we've got some scientists who need a break too. Mr. So, get some rest. Mr. Brains, you too. You don't strictly need it, but you can have it. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking what I might have to do with Breath of the Wild. There's no way I'm going to finish the game off stream. But what I might do is some of the more grindy aspects of it I might do and record and put on YouTube just in the middle. And then I'll save all the really significant stuff like uh, as many of the shrines as I possibly can and finishing any of the Ganon shadow battles with the Divine Beasts and, uh, of course, the climactic final battle with Ganon himself at the Castle of Hyrule. Um, all of that stuff I will do on stream. But the more incidental gearing up, getting all the arrows, and improving my hearts, and all of that stuff, I might, uh, you know, I might just record that and put straight on YouTube instead of streaming it. Because if I do that, then my time pressure concerns of finishing the game before Tears of the Kingdom, they kind of melt away. It's very good that you're feeling better. That is great, and I hope that continues to be the case. Thank you so much, CD. I appreciate it. I was getting pretty severe 
back, neck, and shoulder pain for quite a while because of hypertension. And almost all of that is now completely melted away. So, it has definitely been a good thing, the schedule change. At least for me. I apologize for anybody that, you know, maybe it's not quite as good for, but... If I die of hypertension, streams will be pretty lackluster going forward from that point, so... Got to take care of myself. Assets in the air. How are you still missing shark, you silly, crazy guy? Your territory cannot possibly only include one of the four shark feeders in this massive monstrous pool. Actually, I didn't even check. What did the Attenboroughsaurus, what do they eat? Okay, so they are also fish eaters, not shark eaters. So we only have the one Mosasaur with the sharks. Resting is complete. Humble, humble, docile, and humble, and fit. This guy's a winner. We're taking him, for sure. Humble, fit. Okay, we're gonna do all of those three, and this one that's aggressive, we'll just leave him out of it. 27, ouch. No, well, it's got to be done. We'll do it. Your health is most important, not fond of my friends decaying. Yeah. Understandable. Research complete. Okay, so now we can actually do additional training on our guys. So we're going to release these into the special cohabitation they've got with the Carnotaurs. Asset to be collected. Asset collection request received. There we are. Ibaka. Train. Okay, so she's pretty maxed out now. He's already maxed out on welfare. Let's do... Do a couple points in logistics and genetics so that he can shore up any weak areas. Max out logistics and welfare. You're now maxed out as well. Ms. Ma. Mr. Brains. This is the way. Welcome back, Ivories. I don't suppose anybody's familiar with the Feathered Species Pack and knows how to get the Utyrannus, because that would be really awesome. My really quick... I might have to do a little more intensive Googling on my next break, which is coming up in about 10 minutes. Oh, maybe not Harada. She looks like... 
she is in need of a break, her and Ms. Ibaka. So we'll get that started on this, and that looks like it might be our last species research. So if we don't get it there, then we simply can't get the Utyrannus in this particular map, which is unfortunate, but I will have to see if I can figure that out, because I've not gotten anywhere with my relatively quick Googling. But we can also take a look at expedition maps here, now that we've got more stuff unlocked. Not seeing anything. Dreadnoughtus. Nothing here. I'm surprised there's not more down here. ChatGPT is not going to help very much, unfortunately. The Feathered Species Pack is very new, and ChatGPT is limited in its time frame that it can research things in. If the pack had come out in 2020, there might be some hope. But it cuts off in 2021 at some point. Actually, I'm going to increase the game speed for a while because we are now dangerously low on money. If we had a tornado rip through here, I'd be dead. The park would be finished. Okay, excellent. So I think we've got all the species available in Jurassic Park unlocked now. Delivery has been completed. That was pretty good. It was pretty good, I admit. I'm going to wait till we get up to 2 million, which is not nearly enough, but we're going to do it anyway. Asset has been transported. Actually, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just go now. Uh, I think what we're going to do... Um, where is it? On stream Jurassic World? That's fine. We're going to overwrite that. I'm going to load one of our other saves. We're going to do... Oh, it was not a challenge. Oh, maybe... Some of these things you have to unlock in challenge modes, don't you? Crap. I wonder if that's one of them. Uh, okay. Um, there's like a Dinopedia in the game, isn't there? Am I imagining that? Database. Dinosaurs. Right, it won't let you access ones that you haven't discovered yet. That's horribly inconvenient. Ugh. So we got this one. So at least we've gotten some of the, you know, the feathered species content. That's pretty good. I think that's the Indoraptor. We've not done that one yet. Maros Intrepidus. That looks feathery. He looks kind of terrifying. I really want the Utyrannus, though. Oh! Oh! Utyrannus. Now, I don't suppose it's going to tell us how to actually get it. Oh, I like that it includes the, uh, the sound effects they make. 
Utyrannus is a carnivorous dinosaur from the Tyrannosaurid family, a distant relative of the fearsome Tyrannosaurus rex that is notable for the long feathers on its body and tail. In fact, at around 9 meters in length, this genus is the largest carnivorous dinosaur known to have feathers, lending it the name Utyrannus, which translates to feathered tyrant. Uh, okay, it doesn't actually tell us where to get it, though, unfortunately. <clears throat> well, there was only so much Count Dooku could do with the knowledge they had that long ago. Utaranus wasn't known very well back then. He did the best he could. Let's see if we can do... Not Ilasorna, not San Diego. Do oh man, do I not have a save game from the Oh, I wonder if it was a campaign. Yeah, okay, it's a campaign game then. Maybe we'll load up Malta in the campaign. If I remember correctly, we're not actually done with this campaign anyway. Oh, that's fun. We have a storm. <laughs> oh, and uh, we have a whole enclosure here that's not actually finished yet. That's okay. Acquisition Center, view Dinosaur Exchange, transport to cargo ship, view research. We have, oh crap. Oh god, the Malta campaign is really fun, but it's not going to help us. Let's look at the Dinosaur Exchange just to see. Ten listings for dinosaurs. Amargosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Draco Rex... Lystrosaurus. Nasutoceratops. Notosaurus. Struthiomimus. Yeah. Nothing I was hoping for there. Power station. Response facility. Arrival building. Paleomedical. Hotel. Yeah, I guess we don't actually go on any dig expeditions for this one, do we? I guess the other one we could try. Biosyn. Okay, we have ads starting in about a minute and a half or thereabouts. So I'm going to get this loaded up, and then I think I'm going to hit the Googles and see if I can figure out what's going on with you, Tyrannus. So we're just going to really quickly, like... Uh, where is the expedition teams? Here. Allosaurus. Okay, so we actually still had stuff that we could do here. Raptors. Sinoceratops, Velociraptor. Ankylosaurus. No. Okay, so no Utyrannus here either. I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. I'll hit the Google and we'll see what we can find. This one cannot possibly fail.
<laughs> okay. Oh. I hope that was a cat that I tossed off the mountain. Whoa! That was a hell of a ragdoll! What are they doing? Feeding the poor guy to the crabs? Gracias. You got it. At first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildaf. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. Wait, what? Pet? What? Are you... Oh my god. What? That? What? What? But? 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 but. <laughs> what was that? That's awesome. I've never seen meteor strikes in this game. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> um. Very sorry about that. Emergency. What? We're being raided. Alera, Eld, Jaduri, and all librarians report to hospitality stations immediately. Have library guards at the ready. A fatal raid. Thankfully, that was seconds after I just saved the games. <laughs> I know you. The only mistake was you showing your face. You committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's justice. You taste my well, sword! Well. Another maggot. I'm not afraid of my boy. Uh, not impressed. Stop doing that. Thanks, guys. prayed to the gods, and when they pulled it out, there you were. What is going on in the background there? What was that explosion? I realized that when we went to Winterhold and I finally got my room at the college, and I... what the hell is... That's so cool. Come. There's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mistios. <laughs> Down. Okay, I am back. And yes, I did, Ivory. I always do. This is very frustrating. I can't find any information whatsoever on how you actually unlock this thing. 
Thank you, Vikings. Uh... I mean, we could do a sandbox, I guess. <laughs> Or we could continue working on a challenge, although I seem to remember the challenges are kind of challenging. And uh, I never managed to get one of those working. Maybe we'll just go back to Jurassic World. Hope that all the research we've done has uncovered it. The other thing I can do, we might have to give up on Breath of the Wild for tonight. We're probably just going to keep playing this in hopes that we manage to get the Utyrannus. I don't feel too bad because we got one of the species at least. We can try to get some more of them. Um, let me see what the other species are. Utyrannus, the one we got. Dinochirus or Chirus. Dinochirus and Sinosopteryx. Which actually, that's a familiar looking name. We might be able to get those guys. Gallimimus, Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, so they're not in there. No. 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 No, okay. I'm not sure where to go, guys. I I'm really not sure where to go. Let's quit back to the main menu for a moment. We have this saved. It's not like we're going to lose anything. Worst, absolute worst case, I can continue playing this off stream and do some stuff and record it for YouTube. I already did some test recording of this for YouTube that... Uh, Gonna have to re record because I'm still debugging all that, but that's okay. Oh man, this is cool. Okay. California. Mediterranean. We could try one of these, too, and just see how it goes. Gameplay. We're going to do it. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. If it turns out we can't get the dinosaurs we need, we can always just start another one somewhere or sometime else. So, let's go up here. We're going to need to get some... Let's see, we need an arrival point. Actually, I don't want that arrival point. I want one with... Uh... Here, where's... We'll do the Jurassic World. Oh, that's still got the two. I want only a single exit point. That's better. So we'll pop that in there. I 
I was told from an anonymous source that there are dinosaurs here. Well, there aren't any right this very second, but yes, generally speaking. How are you doing, Mana? It's really good to see you. Do I have a mod around who could give OG Mana a shout out? He's an awesome, awesome streamer and friend of the channel. I'm doing good. I'm just a little frustrated. I want to unlock the Utyrannus dinosaur specifically. Thank you, Greeny. And I cannot find it to save my life because I don't know what the requirements for it are. We need a control center. You're going to go... Where are you going to go? You're going to go... Probably right about here. Nope. Hang on. Ugh. Stop bending. <laughs> I don't want the bend. Thank you. There we go. This one can bend. I have all of the DLC, Mana. I was given a copy of the Feathered Species DLC, and that is the DLC that uh, we're focusing on today, or trying to at least. But uh, yeah, Utyrannus is from it. We got one of the new dinos from it. Like, there's three ground-based species with feathers and one flying species. We managed to get the flying species. It was available in the mode we were in. I'm just hoping that we can get some of the others in this sandbox mode. So we've got an arrival point. We've got a control center. Let's do a Jurassic World style science center next, I think. Nestle that in there. And we need an expedition center. these guys over here. Hey, Poggy, what's going on? I'm doing pretty good. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name at all. How do you like to be referred to? Thank you for asking. Now, what can we actually do here? Oh, okay, so we could just pretty much get everything. What's available? This is nice. This is very nice. Indominus Rex, Indoraptor. Man, I don't even think I've heard of some of these. Monolophosaurus? What the heck? That's an awesome name. I love it. Titan does not look how I expected. I expected it to be really big. Oh, I like that Pentaceratops. Pyroraptors, we've had those before. Scorpios Rex, what the heck? That looks terrifying. 
Cynosauropteryx, that's one of the new ones. That's a good one. Therinzosaurus, those are the really scary guys that are actually not all that scary. Tyrannosaurus. You, Tyrannus, we can do it. Okay, this is what we needed. Perfect. I found a workaround, so I'm going to post up the bard, the paladin, and the sorcerer. That's awesome, Greeny. Stayed up all night with the gang since I'd volunteered to help out at work. Then when I got home, I took a nap. I am very jealous, Poggy. My computer woke me up with a horrendous screeching noise at 6 o'clock in the morning when I had only gotten maybe two or three hours of sleep at most, and then I never really fell asleep again after that. Okay, so we're going to build ourselves a quick Utyrannus enclosure before we do anything. So let's just get... Um, actually, you know... Let's go fancy schmancy like We're going to do... That's a gate. We don't want a gate. We want a fence. So since this is sandbox mode, we're not going to try and treat this like a regular park. We're going to take advantage of our unlimited nature, and we're just going to set up effectively cage matches, I guess. We're going to pit dinosaurs against one another and see how things work out. So we'll give them some water. Randomize that. Do a little bit of correction. Actually, can we increase aggression as well? Not tolerance. No. No. Where... Hmm. I always forget that aggression is not just a direct actual thing. So we can just go wild on all of this stuff. So very antisocial, very defensive, very strong. Large appetite, three trait max, result uncertain. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Dino Fight Club. So we're going to do that, and we're going to... Well, who should we put him up against? You say Scorpius Rex is overpowered, do you? We're just going to do one of him. Let's see. Strong, defensive, and antisocial. We'll just do the one. Aggressive, intolerant, needy. Okay, Scorpios wins the race, so let's do the release. Creepy. My name is George Lambert. Now... You'd think that dealing with prehistoric animals would be a problem. And you'd be right. 
as you probably discovered. But it's the unpredictability that really keeps us on our toes. Sure, the scientists can bring dinosaurs back, but fences keep them in. And without them, the fences, I mean. None of this is possible. The markings are really Not cool. Gives me the chills. But this, this is something else. Now listen to me very carefully. It is imperative that you keep the Scorpius Rex under control. If this thing escapes, well, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> well, luckily, we don't need to worry too much about that. Oh, he looks real cool. Dr. Kajal Dua. I'd ask what brings you here, but I'm not sure I'd get an answer. <laughs> The U Tyrannus. The feathered tyrant brought so much excitement, so much intrigue to the scientific community when it was first discovered. And here we find ourselves in the presence of that illustrious Tyrannosaur. Just don't be too surprised if it ruffles a few feathers, okay? I see what you did there. Okay. I don't know that they're aware of each other yet. Lonely, huh? Shared with Scorpius Rex. I probably made the enclosure too big. He's pretty content, but he doesn't like being shared with Eutyrannus. We don't have to limit it to just two. Okay, so we'll do Tyrannosaurus and what the heck. Um, Maros Intrepidus. We're experimenting with putting really big, strong, tough dinosaurs together in the same enclosed space so that they fight. It's not like you have the best dinosaur. What is the best dinosaur, Greeny? The Ultrasaurus. I wonder if they actually might have the Ultrasaurus. I don't think they have the Ultrasaurus, sadly. That is very unfortunate. I do not know the story of the Ultrasaurus. Speaking of, how are you doing, Ultra? It's so good to see you. I kind of get the feeling this guy might be a little bit small. Okay, T-Rex. All right, let's do the release on Maros Intrepidus and see how ridiculously overmatched he's going to be. Oh, God, he's so tiny. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Ancient 
such mythology may not be my speciality, but I've been told that Morose Intrepidus was named after the Greek deity Morose, the personification of impending doom. It was said that he gave people the ability to foresee their demise. And if you come face to face with this Tyrannosaur, I suspect there is a good chance you will meet your fate. Wow, it's chicken sized. A collection of bones discovered by Jim Jensen of Brigham Young University at the Dry Mesa Quarry, Colorado, were originally believed to belong to the largest dinosaur ever. Jensen informally called this supposedly new dinosaur Ultrasaurus, and this name was widely used by the press and the scientific literature. In 1983, Kim Hang Mook published a paper describing a different specimen representing a new dinosaur species, which he named Ultrasaurus tabriensis, because he believed it was an equally giant relative of Jensen's dinosaur. However, Kim's assessment was incorrect. His dinosaur was much smaller than he believed, because he mistook a partial humerus for an ulna. However, since Kim was the first to publish the name Ultrasaurus, the name officially applied to the small South Korean sauropod. Got it. And could no longer be used as an official name for Jensen's giant specimen. Aww. That is very cool, Ultra. That actually is really cool. I can't believe Moros Intrepidus is so tiny. <laughs> it looked so big. My childhood dinosaur da book dates before 1983, so my visual of the Ultrasaurus is the non-official one. future and our past. I'm Claire Deering. I used to be management until things went awry. Now I'm more of an advocate. John Hammond wanted a world with dinosaurs and I want us to take care of them. I hope you do as well. Generally sure. There isn't a more iconic dinosaur than the T-Rex. Even people who don't know the difference between herbivore and carnivore know all about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And when you see her up close, feel her gaze, you understand why the T-Rex was the ruler of the Cretaceous period. Claire is awesome. I like Claire a lot. I'm a little disappointed we haven't had any fights yet. Oh, actually, I wonder, you know, I've been setting this up as a giant cage match, but because we're in survival or in uh, creative mode, effectively, sandbox mode, I wonder if they're just not going to be capable of fighting. Oh, it's not that they're not showing. It's just that these are the futuristic invisible walls. I mean, they're literally, they are invisible. It's not even a real wall. The dinosaurs are implanted with a thing that shocks them if they try to get outside this perimeter. So there is no actual wall, but they still can't leave. Megalosaurus. Let's actually, we'll do an Indominus Rex too. He's already intolerant. And then we'll do... Allosaurus. Wait. Can I? Oh, never mind. Okay, we're fine.
What day is it? I think it's Tuesday. I'm streaming, so it's probably Tuesday. Okay, Salar de Huasco, Amazon, we'll do this one. I like that one. And I guess we're getting this one. Yeah, I kind of suspect these guys are just not going to be able to fight. That's kind of a problem. We might have to restart and redo this. No Jumanji. <laughs> that's recreated is important but some also capture our imaginations the allosaurus is one such animal it is believed that in its original environment it was squarely at the top of the food chain i'm interested to discover if that's true given the opportunity Dr. Henry Wu, none of this would exist. He has that drive and intensity I did ultra. that few people possess. My advice? Don't this bad side. Holy size say? difference. The Indominus Rex remains my most inspired creation. Nature can create a dinosaur, but only I can bring an Indominus Rex to life. To do so required a tremendous amount of research, gene mixing, splicing and manipulation, and, of course, determination. The end result is a hybrid dinosaur that is both beautiful and deadly. An alpha predator among alpha predators. So treat it with the care and respect it deserves. Wow. Not one fight yet amongst all these massive predators. I think we really do have to restart this and make sure that the sandbox is um, set up correctly. Or can we just do... We can change the rules. We might be okay. Yeah, combat set to none. Hey, Dova. Okay, what's next? We're not done yet. Atrosa Raptor? What the heck? I'm doing pretty good, Dova. How are you doing? Oh, actually, I kind of like that skin color. Maybe we'll just leave that as it is.
Okay. We'll do that one. Taking a break from Diablo, very nice. So now T-Rex becomes even more fearsome. With lips, the retention of saliva and bacteria becomes possible, which would coat the teeth, and like the Komodo dragon, you can get deadly bacteria growing there that would kill the prey even if the first bite did not. Are they, wait, what? Fighting? Where, who, what, why? Oh, they are, look at that. Who is this? That's Indominus Rex versus Scorpios Rex. Oh man, okay. Oh, Indominus. I think Indominus is going to get it. Oh. What? Dino poisoned? He lost the fight, but oh boy. There's no such thing as an Ultrasaurus Rex, Dova. The Scorpio is mixed with a scorpion? Oh my god. Okay, I guess we're gonna need a paleomedical facility then. see where's the enclosure okay probably gonna need a couple of these maybe three Oh, these guys are fighting too. So we've got T-Rex versus Utyrannus. Oh, the Utyrannus is quite small, actually. Tyrannus. Currently recreating Jurassic World in Jurassic World 2? Yeah. It this is a great game. Okay, what else have we got here? Ah, Atrociraptor and Albertosaurus. Oh, he's got the same claw as the Velociraptor. That's cool. People often talk about the thrill of the chase, but if you got one of these on your tail, you'll soon become the kill of the chase. This right here is the Atrociraptor, a truly tenacious hunter, and it is simply relentless. At least, that's what I'm told. <laughs> I don't intend to find out firsthand. I don't blame you.
This is the Albertosaurus, so named because it was first discovered in the Canadian province of Alberta. This animal is a smart predator that relies on its rows of sharp teeth. They exhibit pack behavior, which is very exciting to witness, as long as you're doing so from a safe distance. Oh, he's already in a fight. He just got out. Nope, no mods. No mods at all. Welcome on in, by the way, Lucky. Okay, I guess we should get rid of the bodies. <laughs> I can't believe we got rid of Indominus Rex so quickly. I guess the poison really did him in. Oh, where'd the other guy go? Did they eat him? Oop. Scorpius Rex is not doing so hot. I think T-Rex is going to get this one. Oh. Mm, mm, okay. We'll have to see. Ooh. That's going to leave a mark. tragic quality to seeing a dinosaur that has been brought back from the dead die. But death has unfortunately come for one of our animals. Clear the carcass from the enclosure before it can spread disease. Heading to collect the asset. Oh man, they're just fighting all over the place now. What the heck? What do we got here? That's Allosaurus and Albertosaurus. Are they fighting, or are they just sort of circling each other? No, okay, there's no fight there. Pretty much, Dova. I was looking for the U-Tyrannus. Let's do a Carnotaur. I always like these guys. Nope, oh, wait, we weren't done. Okay. Do Carnotaurus there and... Not sure what else. Maybe we could get some of the scarier looking herbivores. Oh, we could do the, um, what's the one? This guy. Wrong way. That's vulnerable. We want defensive. There we go. Okay. We'll do that one.
Okay, so we only have the one. That's fine. We'll do this one. Commencing asset transit. You could recognize this predator immediately by the horns on its head, which give it a real rock and roll appearance. Those powerful legs can get this dinosaur moving as well, so probably best to stay out of the This dinosaur is so metal. <laughs> and he's already in a fight. No problem, Ultra. Good luck with the assignment. I hope it goes well for you. Oh, did he... Oh, he panicked. Interesting. Oh, the little guy got it. Wow. Oh, look at the coloration. He looks amazing. Or she, I'm not sure which. Okay, I'm Isaac. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. And hopefully not dinosaurs. Just when you think you've seen it all, along comes the Therizinosaurus. And believe it or not, those huge claws you see, they actually help to feed on vegetation. For real. But, uh, just do me one favor, okay? Don't let it near my hair with those things. <laughs> no promises. I had no idea how to pronounce that one. Interesting. Okay, what else are we gonna do? Um... We don't have a Spinosaurus yet. Danger turkey, yes. Yeah, exactly, Poggy. Exactly. I had no idea how that was pronounced. I don't think they ever actually said the name in the movie, did they? Maybe they did, and I just didn't catch it. Okay, so there's the Spino, and we don't have one of these guys. The Rizinosaurus, yes, or something like that. Hey, Callan Ray, how's it going? It's good to see you. Hope all is well. There we are. They did this in the wild. Now they can fight in captivity. Wait, what are we missing? Who's fighting who? Oh, something's going down over here. Albertosaurus versus T-Rex. Poisoned T-Rex.
Oh, another fight now. The T-Rex ran. Wow. No worries, Calendary. This is the best idea ever. I'm so sorry I never did this before. What the heck? I've never seen that before. Now, what does that indicate? Oh, fight record one. Okay. Spinosaur, we only have the one choice, so we're going to go with that one. This one... do that. So the vets are able to restore health. It looks like he might recover from the poison. I'm doing pretty good, thank you. How do you prefer your name to be pronounced, by the way? Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. We're just experimenting in sandbox mode with some dinosaur cage matches here. Oh man, look at the colors on that guy. Changesaurus. Neat. Really great that we're bringing back all these fast, hungry brothers. Even better that I get to stay in the office with locks on the doors. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Rematch time. What is with Rexy? Seriously? He's won a couple of battles, but man. Okay, time for the Spino. Oh, crap. dinosaur is impressive. The Spinosaurus is perhaps the largest of carnivores. Of course, I'll never get close enough to one to see for myself, but <laughs> that's why I have you. Okay, hang on a second. I've been doing pretty good today. My audio local side has been behaving all stream, but right now it's startling, starting to go crackly, so I just need to fix this real quick. And there we go. We should be good for a while. Or maybe not. Weird. Just pause it to do it. Hopefully. Maybe that'll do.
They almost look like they're getting along. What the heck? Okay, what's next? What turns a dino neutral? I don't know. Herrerasaurus. Let's do this one. Tempted to do Dilophosaurus, but he's a little small. We'll do one of these guys. I've never seen these before. I have no idea how big they are. Or aren't. Herrera is a raptor sized dino, then he will be a snack. Or, you never know. Maybe he'll catch one of the others while they're recovering from another battle. don't know cinder <laughs> now what we have here is a herrerasaurus it's a carnivore and a spectacular addition to our dinosaurs it just requires a little tlc he's not that tiny he's like a really big raptor okay my audio is being stubborn hang on just a second here i'm gonna turn the volume off completely to reset this And I'm going to do the full fix. So just give me a minute. There we go. Hopefully that'll do it. I have not actually seen outside, so I can't confirm or deny. I will say that it's supposed to be cloudy here right now. Your area is enveloped in a winter storm that's sticking around till Thursday. We don't have that here, Cinder. Oh, we do have ads starting soon, though. So uh, this is probably a good time for me to take a break, and I'll be back in just a few minutes, folks. interruption. Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen. Oh my god. Thank you, Greeny. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. No, I'm <laughs> that was not the Jarl's cheese. Stop right there. 
None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. Dramatic much? Wow, game. Sorry, dude. Because you were us. I picked us. Um. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Okay. I am back. Now, I think what we're missing, uh, oh, we've got that guy just about done. Thank you, Vikings, Greeny, and Ivories. Welcome back. We need more Utyrannus. The whole point was to get them in here. And then he went and ended up being the very first one to die. So we need more. We're going to make some more. Ooh. It should be obvious that these dinosaurs are hungry. Food insecurity will put these animals under stress, and that is not good for them. Or us. Trust me. You guys can't hear the crackling, can you? Because I was completely unsuccessful in getting that to stop. Let me just check one thing again. I think it's just my end. It's probably my speakers. You are hearing it a little. That's probably through my mic then. Okay. That's better. 
for now. spoke too soon. What? Damn, Carno. Okay, you know what? We're going to save this. I'll quit the game, I'll reset my audio, and we'll be okay. I don't think it, like, when an application has control, I think it makes it more difficult to reset it and fix it. So, I'll just quit the game real quick, like. I'll see if I can't fix it the way I usually do. Okay, and then we'll give that a try. So I'm just getting the game launched up again. That's what happened, Divers. Exactly as you said. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm aware, Kellen, right? We have a new follower or is that behind it looks like it might be behind a bit thank you anyway for the follow i appreciate it even if that was a bit ago okay oh didn't last too long. Oh, this guy's also not too huge, is he? It's a carnivore, so take the necessary precautions and don't let its looks deceive you. Okay. We're gonna do all five of them. Thank you, Kellenair. I'm kind of impressed. It went a good four and a half hours before it broke today. that that's so cool I 
Now, I don't think it's reasonable to have a scenario like this with no T-Rex and no Indominus. So we're going to bring those guys back. Oh, Therinzosaurus is getting into it. Ooh. just arrived and already getting into this one too. I guess that was a pretty decisive battle. Allosaurus is no more. How is you, Tyrannus, lonely? There's like four others. What's the minimum population they have? The population is not one. What are you talking about? Tyrannus is actually not faring so well in all these battles. Okay, that's the loser of that previous battle. Okay, Tyrannosaurus Rex. We've got two of them. Let's release them. These are both smaller ones. Oh. No, wait, that's the Spinosaur. Never mind. That's not true at all. And the Carnotaur's reign of terror ends. <laughs>
Okay, where was this battle? Oh, it's got to be these guys here. Tyrannus really seems to be on the losing end of this. I don't think I've seen any of them win a single battle so far. God, so many. I don't even know which to watch. I think we have to watch Indominus, though. Wow. <laughs> that was fast. Therinzosaurus. Therinzinosaurus. However you pronounced it. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, where was the Albertosaurus? Because now we don't have any of these. Nope, we do. It was Allosaurus. We lost. We're going to make them. And we need more Therinzeosaurus. That's basically it, Kellenray. Tyrannus. They have the worst track record here. Man, they are just working on completely clearing out the Utyranus pop. Oh, 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 it lived. Well, he got a shot in. Two shots in. Impressive. It managed to survive the battle. Oh wow, 
Look at this one. I think we need to increase our diversity here. I think we need yield classic Triceratops. If we're gonna go with Triceratops. We might as well do Ankylosaurus as well. We can do that next. Welcome on in, Gate Master. Oop. Triceratops is ready. Just have a look at this. Well, I can't do both, huh? Okay. so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. You are now a lore seeker. Yeah. Make things a little easier for our poor overworked vet guys. Yeah, the follow alerts work fine, Space Vikings. It's specifically, so far, just the sub-alerts that are not working. Or they are working, but they can't be seen or heard, which is really weird. So I might just, you know, I've got the next two days off streaming, so I might just go through and fix them all. Where's the fight? Oh, it's got to be these guys. Indominus and type. Oh, this is not the what one. What can be said about the Triceratops? This is one of those dinosaurs that really defines our business. People want to see them, and we want to share them with the world. Don't let that fearsome appearance fool you. 
Those horns are mostly for defense and impressing other triceratops. This animal is an herbivore. It can be a star attraction or a security matter. God with God, let's God target those dinos, God love. <laughs> what the heck? Mad, thank you so much for the prime sub. How are you doing today? Now the Allosauruses are fighting one another. You'd think they'd have bigger issues. I'm doing pretty good, Matt. Thank you. I apologize for the uh, sub alerts not working properly. I have a bit more work to do over the weekend, it seems. Out of the way, sir. I can't see. What the heck? <laughs> it's starting to get a little crowded. fast. I love how the music is more majestic when it's not a carnivore coming out of the cage. Yeah. They did a really good job with this game. It's so good. Now, for the Indominus in particular, I think we can do a little with the environment here to make it look a little different. Let's add a variety of different plants and stuff. We don't strictly need it in this area. But it might be good, especially with Indominus around, because he is a bit of a camouflage expert.
Exactly, Gate Master. That was pretty impressive, I have to admit. Starving? What? Are, oh, yeah, I guess. I don't think they actually can technically starve, but we can put in. What the heck is this? Live prey feeder. We have so many different things here. What the heck? I'll put a few of these in. Albertosaurus, so let's start one of those. And we're running low on T-Rex. So we'll do more of those too. Commencing asset transit. Oh, that's a good point. That is a good point. We will do those. Asset has been collected. After we do the intro Asset sequence for Alberto Soros, I'll get that started. Just don't let me forget, because I get distracted easily when there's a lot of fights going on. Oof. Oh. That was a good battle. What the heck? So we're going to have to do more of these guys too now. Chimichangas? I'm not sure if I've ever had one. I'm sure that's true, Greenie, but that doesn't change the fact that I still haven't had one. Thank you for the hydrate and the posture check. Okay, hydrate. Yeah, what were we doing? Uh, do, 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 where are they? Oh, these guys. Are these actually... These are herbivores and piscivores. How much... Wait, was it th that one or... Which one is it? This one or this one? This one looks more like a fearsome predator, although it also looks very, very small. This one here? These guys look tiny. They're not going to last any time at all. Or... 
the duck? Really? Okay. We can do it. No reason not to. They'll probably die really quick unless there's something going on there that I'm not aware of. We'll give them every chance to survive that they can have. Cryolophosaurus didn't last very long. Were they really ultra interesting? Okay. A true velociraptor is the size of a cat would have completely changed the vibe of the movie. True. But, I mean, there were children involved in the movie. You still ne wouldn't necessarily want a vicious, you know, dangerous predator even of that size going around. Could still do significant damage. Especially if maybe there were more of them. Oop. Okay, let's see. They're actually pretty big. Stegos did quite well against the predators. Here we have the Dinochirus. This downy dinosaur is often likened to an ostrich. Not surprising, I suppose, considering the long neck, the feathers, the beak. <laughs> it's just a lot bigger in size, huh? <laughs> but if things go awry, something tells me this swan doesn't need to bury its head in the sand. <laughs> Oh, 
thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. You are correct, though, guys. I think we definitely need to do Stegosaurus. Have a good one, Bob. Thank you so much for hanging out. And we had a request to do an aviary. They're not going to really be able to get in on the fighting, though. And the fighting is kind of the point of this particular sandbox we're doing. Where is it? Stegosaurus. There we go. Make that a bit worse. Level that out. Make them nice and antisocial. They're already intolerant. And now we just beef them up some. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do glitching, though. Not my style. I'm good enough at finding glitches all on my own without intentionally making them happen. The stegos that are super spiky. Okay, we can take a look for those. I'm sure I've got them. But we're going to do the traditional true Stegosaurus as well. Just played stream this game again, having a lot of fun with the campaign. Yeah, this is a really wonderful game. I've been playing it a lot over the last year and a half or so. Okay, what do we got going on here? Before I got into the Pedro creation game, even I knew of the Stegosaurus. Those plates running along its length from head to tail make it one of the most iconic dinosaurs. Our guests are going to want to see it, so make sure you do right by this animal. Much more deep than I thought at first? Yep. Gatemaster, have a fantastic evening. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Your redeem. What did you redeem, Greeny? Oh, rename a Dino Ultra. Okay. Do you have a particular Dino in mind, Greeny? We could always name one of the T-Rexes Ultra, or maybe Indominus. Oh, look at that. The tail is still green. The body's gone blue. I guess he's going to need some Piscivore feeders.
crap. Where's the other battle? Oh, right here. So this is Albertosaurus versus Tyrannosaurus. Okay, there's another similar fight going on. Where's the other fighting Rex? There's so many, I can't keep track of who's doing what anymore. What? T-Rex lost? Wow. That wasn't much of a battle. They just circled each other until one ran away. Would Ultra like any input on which dinosaur should be named Ultra? Dino Duck Boy? Okay. Let's see if I can find one. They're probably going to be gathering near the water, I would think. That's Indominus. Oh, here we go. There you go. Well, that one was pretty decisive. so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome on in. There is one thing missing. I know they're not the biggest. They're probably going to die a lot. But you have to have raptors. It just wouldn't be a terrible enough idea without the raptors. And in fact, I'm going to double dose them.
Transportation underway. Very cool. Everyone knows I have a soft spot for this dinosaur, the Velociraptor. And they get a bad rap as far as I'm concerned. If you imprint early enough, you can make real connections with them. Other than Claire, raptors are the most intelligent partners I've ever had. And like her, they could kill me in the blink of an eye. <laughs> that's a that's a joke. Oh, Owen. I like the coloration on that one in particular. Okay. So now we've got about a million raptors. Now who died doing what? Uh oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ultra. <laughs> At least it was a T-Rex that took you down. Acknowledging asset collection request. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Holy crap! Yeah, they can they can jump pretty well, Vikings. Whoo. Ooh, Stegosaurus died to Indominus Rex. I'm almost kind of thinking maybe these two mobile vet units aren't enough. <laughs> I wonder if maybe I need to build another medical facility. Actually getting some blows in. Thank you, Ultra. Uh, 
I think there was another Spino battle. Oh, no, it's these two. I think that means we need some more of the uh, the big hook hand guys, whose name I will probably need a long time to remember how to actually pronounce these ones. Yeah, we have none left. Also, what were the really extra spiky stegosaurs? Oh, these guys look pretty good. The Kentrosaurus. They've got a bunch of extra spikes. Then there's these guys. They've got massive extra spikes. And these guys have a few. Oh, it's got to be this one, right? That's a whole hell of a lot of extra spikes. Let's do some of these guys. Oh, actually, uh, we'll do these guys in just a minute. No Diablos? No, I don't think so. But uh, I'll be back shortly. It looks like we're coming up on my last break. And, well, actually, we might have to squeeze one in. Or maybe next time a break starts coming up, that's probably when I'll wrap up. But... Uh, Ads are about to start, so I'm going to take a few minutes and just move around a little bit. If you need to get up, grab a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it. Ads are going to play during this, uh, so I will be running some clips. So if you are having to watch ads first, thank you very much. I appreciate it very kindly. And uh, second, you won't actually miss anything because I'll be running clips instead. So I'll be back in just a few. <laughs> that was <laughs> wow good job now I'm gonna put a bit of a rush on this which means we might not actually get to out uh... wow that's okay that is a rite of passage every Valheim player must go through Whoa! Uh-oh. 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 Ah. Uh-uh. I can't believe I killed it. Guys handle the fighting. I'll just be here recluding.
Oh crap. <laughs> oh. I thought for a moment I was going right into the water. There we go. So I just want to get up close to gutted mine. No. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Oh god. Bad chat. Another one down. You can't stop me. Oh. No! <laughs> I thought Jedi were powerful. Heck, all of those signs. I'm keeping this one. It says keep, right? I guess we're not keeping it. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. I don't even know where to start. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Uh. But that was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic from a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah, it's in my contract. Okay, I am back. Thank you, Vikings. Thank you, Greeny. Okay, now where was the other? It was Kentarosaurus or something along those lines, I believe. Yeah. Or Kentrosaurus, sorry. And Quietus, welcome. Yes, I am. I had to change my schedule. I have to admit it. Oh, wait a minute. No. Strong, not weak. Uh, I have to admit, it is working out a lot better for me. At least so far. So, while it sucks that it is potentially, you know, disadvantageous for some people, I just kind of got to do it. From a bit too late to, for me to a bit too early for me. <laughs> well, early is probably a little better. Hopefully. Achievement progress. One more for the sticker book. It's gonna be a while. Oh, these guys look really cool. First discovered in China, the Chunkingosaurus has distinctive twin plates that run along its back. And it can swing its spiked tail, called a thagomizer, like a massive medieval mace. This is a dinosaur best observed at a distance. You have no idea how much joy it gives me that thagomizer became the real word for that. 
I could make the start. I'm just usually busy at that time. The earlier schedule, on the other hand, was past my bedtime. Yeah. You guys know the origin of the Thagomizer term, right? Poor Thag Simmons, exactly. Oh, blocked by dinosaur. Quit crowding the entrance, guys. Come on. Get a move on. Okay, hang on. I'm actually going to do it. Where is it? Not a response. There we go. Paleomedical. Maybe instead of faster treatment, I should give them advanced training. So they don't have to sit there and shoot for five gazillion years. Like, that probably gives them a better speed boost than the speed boost does anyway. slowly dispersing. Come on, guys. Keep moving. While we're waiting... I keep forgetting that I can do upgrades here, too. Oh, <laughs> additional bays, advanced equipment. Accelerated growth, why not? Oh, here they go. Oh, we didn't get the fancy... Oh, well. That's okay. Oh, they're all the same pattern. Did I forget to mix up their genetics? Allosaurus. What? Allosaurus was hunted by Velociraptor? Ankylosaurus hunted by Velociraptor. Yikes. I may have added too many raptors. <laughs> Odd jobbed in Goldeneye. Oh, this looks interesting. Indominus versus Spinosaur. The Kentrosaurus is another of those spiky backed dinosaurs. A dinosaur that relied on intimidation to keep the predators at bay. And failing that, a difficult meal to catch and chew. Think of it as a prehistoric porcupine. Ooh. 
Oop. Two T-Rexes. Okay, now I saw something about Spinosaur versus Velociraptor or Indominus. Ooh. Well, that was over pretty quick, actually. Asset has been collected. Oh, was that it? Okay. They got the... Wow. I wish I'd seen that. And now the Spinosaur is gone. That means we need another. That's a shame. That was a gorgeously colored and patterned Spinosaur. I really liked that one. Oh, you know what? We could do more Indoraptors. I had to duck out earlier. Hi again, and oh no, yeah, the Spino died. It was hunted by Velociraptors, of all things, believe it or not. Indoraptor, Spinosaur, and we're going to do Scorpius Rex as well, because those are fun, apparently. I'm impressed at what the Velociraptors have been able to take down so far. They are pretty seriously impressive. That's not... I would like at least one more Scorpios, please. Well, you don't get many of them. This, yeah, today has been the first time I've ever actually had a Scorpios Rex. Oh, that's a different looking one. looks very similar to the one we just let out. It's what Indoraptor wishes it could be trying to be scary. <laughs> Stegosaurus died. That's going to leave a mark. Oh, 
That's right, you run. Okay, what have we got? Spinosaur. Indoraptor. Oh, right. The Indoraptors are small. The Indoraptor. This is a dinosaur created with a purpose. It can even see in the dark and uses echolocation to find its prey. Now, nature might eventually have created the Indoraptor, but I got there first. Is it dangerous? Yes. But then so is science. Okay. Oh, did... what? Died in a fight? Wow. He got thagged. Oh, now some of the raptors are starting to bite it. Hunted down. Okay, what's next? We don't have any pyro raptors yet. What else could we use here? Welcome back, Sketchy. Megalosaurus? I don't think we've done any of these guys, have we? Okay. Not sure how many of these guys we have left. I think we've lost a few at this point. <sighs> Why 
wonder if these guys are particularly small. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I forgot to do the colors on these guys. something special about this one. Uh, je ne sais quoi. It's a viral raptor. Had it not been for a forest fire sweeping through southern France, our little feathered friend here may have gone undiscovered. And my life insurance would be just that little bit cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sketchy. Just finished your daily meditating. Very nice. Megalosaurus. Anytime you hear the word Mega, you know you're dealing with something significant. And the Megalosaurus is no different. This meat-eating theropod dominates any environment it finds itself in. While that's an admirable survival trait, it's also one that we cannot accept here at the park. I want to make that clear. Okay, then. Oh, God. We've been losing a lot of the Kents as well. Excellent, Sketchy. I'm very glad to hear that. Scorpios Rex died to a Stegosaur. Wow. Collecting asset. Do we have any of them left, I wonder? Yeah, we still have one. Let's modify this. I, for, I can't believe I forgot to do the skin and pattern color. I'm not going to make more of them right now, but for next time. I didn't do it for these guys either? Wow. Okay. I'm getting bad. We're going to make one more, at least. There we go. Look at that. Now, I wonder. Oh, we don't have any such as either. We've still got two T-Rexes. We're completely out of Utyrannus again. Let's make more. I imagine we've been out of them for a while. I still don't think I've seen a Utyrannus win a single battle yet. And we're going to make another one of these guys too, because you can't have too many Indominus Rexes. I have not, Sketchy. I have not.
Oh, we got dead dinos everywhere. Basically, Sketchy. It's a survival or, or a sandbox map that I put together, and I'm just, you know, using it as an excuse to take a look at all the fancy dinosaurs in one place because it's fun. Another dead pyroraptor. They don't seem to have terribly great survivability here either, actually. <laughs> Thank you, Greeny. I think we're pretty close to being done with Dino Fight Club for now. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm definitely going to have to do this again. But uh, have yourself a fantastic night, and I will catch you again real soon. Over here. Wow, Scorpius Rex died to T Rex. Exactly, Kellen Ray. this guy actually lived. Impressive. Another U-Tyran is down. Have a good one, Sketchy. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate that. Megalosaurus takes down Triceratops. Oh, T Rex versus Stegosaur. Not 
neither is coming out great at the end of this one. Rexy's been torn to shreds. Although, not as badly as the uh, T-Rex there, or the Stegosaur. You Tyrannus, oh man, yet another one. Tyrannus, wait! A U Tyrannus won a battle? I wish I had seen that. That's pretty awesome. Acknowledging asset collection request. Asset transportation in progress. A lot of the pyro raptors dying as well. Yep. Velociraptors seem to outmatch the pyro raptors. Interesting. Collecting asset. Oh my god, so many dinos. Megalosaur is dead. Oh, <laughs> that was amazing. are just dying everywhere here. It's kind of awesome. And also terrible. Another U Tyrannus down. On route to pick up the asset. Megalodon route to or not asset. Megalodon. Um is it Megalodon? I'm not sure. See the third. Asset being transported. Commencing asset transit. Oh, our Spinosaur is still up and about. That's pretty good. What is our... Oh. Yep, Velociraptor wins again against Pyroraptor. Acknowledging asset 
I'm wondering what our current population of velociraptors is. We still have seven. Not bad. Those are Indominus stats. Four battles won, four dinos killed. Tyrannus. Mobile Vet Unit 1 cannot find a route to its destination. Oh, it's probably these bits of forest in here. I think they're too thick. Dinosaurs can hide in there and the uh, vets won't be able to get to them. down. edit this environment just a touch. Let's see. Oop, no, actually, oop, no, wait. I'm making it worse. Oh, no. That's what I want. I thought that one was dead. Another Velociraptor. Alright, folks. I could keep doing this for hours, but I can't, unfortunately. I need to get going. So we're going to save here. Jurassic Free for All. 
So thank you all so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I will be back on Friday. We're going to play some Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I apologize we didn't actually get to do any of that today. But uh, we'll see what we can get up to on Friday. Thank you, Kellen Ray. Thank you, Ultra. Thank you, Aaron Lar. So, let me see. Um, looks like Michelle Boyd is just starting up her stream. We could go there. Wait, Greeny is on? We could... Wow, okay. We can go raid Greeny. That would be pretty fun. A familiar raid target at an unfamiliar time. I forgot that Greeny starts so early. Uh, who else do we have? I need to get familiar with my potential raid targets at this time. Domestic Dan is on. Game Cleric is on. Mandolin is on. The Geek Entry is on. So many people. Dawn whispers on. Man, we haven't raided her in a billion years or so. What if Julia's on? Man, Julia's like Greeny. She must stream for a billion hours a day or something. If you'd ended an hour before, you could have come said hi at DDB. Yeah. Ugh. Well, let's... Or maybe she's like a much younger Gordon streams multiple times. Wow. Wow, Aranar. Wow. I think, uh, I think we'll go with Greeny. I think we'll go with Greeny. He's playing The Witcher today. So let's go see how that's going for him. It looks like he's only been on for 45... Or sorry, uh, 14 minutes. Not even 45. So, uh, let me... <laughs> it was like a decade ago. It wasn't that long ago. It was getting there, but not quite there yet. We're going to go raid Greeny Trini. All right, folks. If you do not know Greeny Trini, he is one of our mods here in the channel and a great friend of the channel. He's been uh, a friend here for a very, very long time now, speaking of being old and things, you know, running for many years. So... If you enjoy my kind of uh, chilled, mellow content with uh, good, relaxed vibes, then you will definitely enjoy Greeny's channel. So let's get over to his place, see how The Witcher is treating him. He's been playing through this game for quite some time. Technically, I have a playthrough of my own going as well. I restarted playing it recently, though I only streamed it the one time, and then I haven't had time to pick it up again since. So we'll see what happens with that. That might be one of the things that transitions over to YouTube. But uh, let's see how his playthrough is going. He's been very dedicated to it and is making some really good progress. So I'd love to see how that's going for him. So I will be back on Friday and Saturday. On Friday, we're going to be playing some Breath of the Wild. We need to make some serious progress in that as well before the new uh, game comes out. So let me get you the raid call. Thank you, Mad. I appreciate it. I hope you have a great day too. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel. If you are a sub, if you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe emotes from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Greeny's channel, see what's going on with his Witcher playthrough. I will be back Friday. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now. <laughs>